across the country and across Connecticut are having to wait longer before getting their financial aid offers from colleges and universities. A delay in the federal government's FAFSA form has backed it all up. News 8's Bob Wilson explains what parents and students can expect. It is very scary. Students are excited as the college acceptance letters roll in, but parents not so much. The financial packages are incomplete, leaving many parents and students with acceptance letters in one hand and an unknown bill in the other. I think it mostly falls on the parents and the stress of, you know, how are we going to afford to send our ch child to a good college? Michelle Petrazuli is meeting with advisors at Advanced College Planning, trying to figure out how to navigate the applications, the offers, and the FAFSA form. Typically by now, if you've applied early action and even regular decision to some schools, you already have your financial aid award, which means you know what the school is going to cost next year, and you can start weighing out what your options are. At CCSU, they accept applications on a rolling basis. UConn says acceptance letters go out at the very beginning of March, but it will be weeks before they can offer financial aid packages, which are based on the FAFSA forms. I mean, I wouldn't tell anyone to buy a house or a car or anything else without knowing the price of it first, and college is going to be more expensive than both of those. FAFSAs are delayed because Congress mandated an overhaul of the system to make it simpler to use. The delay is about four to six weeks as the federal government processes them all. It doesn't matter who it is to blame. Who is it going to hurt? And it's going to hurt high school students that are just trying to get an education. So the experts at Advanced College Planning say, keep in mind, while there's a lot of anxiety and stress, especially with the FAFSA being delayed, it's not the fault of UConn, Central, or any other colleges or universities. And they say, if anything, you should cut them some slack because as the forms come in late, that means their staff, their personnel, they're going to have to do more and work quickly to get the numbers out. In New Britain, Bob Wilson, News 8.